All right, the Dow is up better than 600 points right now. Technology stocks are on a tear as well. Now, there are a couple of reasons for that. Uh, it's, I, I don't always buy this here, but this notion that stimulus is coming one way or the other, and uh, especially if, for example, there's a Biden sweep, he takes the Senate with them. There's no way of knowing. Um, but that's going to be extra stimulus because they'll be throwing money after money after money uh, with a lot more stimulus, in fact, on steroids, and the markets generally like that as a stimulative effect in the economy. Never mind, we go deeper into debt to do that. But I I do want to explore a number of scenarios, how they play out and how the markets might react afterwards. And for that, I have Brian Westbury, First Trust Advisors, Chief Economist. I've also got Rebecca Welzer, Welzer Wealth Management. So, guys, if you'll indulge me, a couple of uh, yeah. scenarios uh, that could play out, if not tonight, eventually, um, when we get all the results. And, Rebecca, one is this. I'll start with you. Uh, it's a sweep. Uh, Joe Biden takes the White House, takes the Senate with him. Uh, the Democrats run the table. How would markets react to that? Wow. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a whopper. Um, <laughs> I think I think you're exactly right with what you said in the lead in, Neil. I think at first the markets would like it because they think, wow, we're going to get a ton of stimulus until they realize that that just means bigger taxes on top of a Biden tax plan that's already quite expansive and quite massive coming out of a global pandemic. So I do think the markets initially might be happy about a total blue wave. Um, but it eventually, you know, the, the regulations and the tax policy will catch up. And, and I think that the economy will struggle like it did under the Obama Biden presidency for the recovery. At, we're talking. All right. Uh, clean sweep. Brian, how would the markets react? Yeah, I, I, I think initially, I'm going to agree with Rebecca, initially it, it's stimulus. There are so many things going on right now. I, I do worry about tax hikes, the Green New Deal, a big expansion in uh, government-run health care. I think the market will react negatively to those things over time. I guess the biggest worry I have and the, uh, is, the, is the fact that we might shut down the economy again. And if we were to do that, I do not think the market would like that. Uh, I would like to remind everybody, though, that if you go back to 1949, and I know that's a long time ago, Truman's second term, if you would have bought the S&P 500 and held it, um, you bought $10,000 worth of the S&P 500 and held it, you'd have $2.2 million today. If you only held the market when Democrats were in office, you'd have about 296000 If you only oh. held it when uh, Republicans wow. had the market, you'd have about 75000 So, So what I'm saying is, is that, yeah, the, the, who's in office and what policies uh, 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 are, are followed really matters. But over time, company, Apple's going to sell the same number of phones right. next year, no matter who wins. Right. It's, it's the future that really matters. So right now, I think investors should stay in the market. The economy is growing. Profits are rising, and it's a good place to be. All right. I'm going to bullet a couple of other scenarios, guys. And if you can just keep it to a minimum on just the question I'm asking, I don't need yeah. you to be rude to you. Rebecca, the other option Sorry. is this. The pre no, no, please. All right. you, 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 there was an interesting set of facts there. Uh, Rebecca, uh, the president wins, uh, but the Senate flips Democrat. You have divided government. Uh, then what? Mm. Well, we, we do like our checks and balances in America. So I would say that's overall a win for democracy. Um, but it will make the president's proposals definitely a lot harder. I know he was talking about a middle class tax cut, uh, additional middle class tax cut. And, you know, I don't know that the Dems would go against that, but I don't want to give right. him a win either. So I think divided would be more would be divided. All right, uh, Brian, uh, Joe Biden wins. Uh, yep. The Senate stays Republican, still split government, but a flip of who's controlling what? Yeah, I think the market, uh, in, in those kinds of scenarios, uh, Neil, the market loves it. I think that's a great scenario uh, for the market. Uh, by the way, right now, I think, I think the market has watched these polls, especially Iowa, and everything uh, tightening. And I think today, part of it is that Trump is probably going to win. I know you're going to ask that, yes. but... Yeah. I think yes. that's one of no, the things the market's looking at. And that's at. my final scenario. Uh, Rebecca, the, the president gets reelected. The Senate, uh, you know, uh, stays Republican. And the House goes Republican. In other words, Republicans run the table. Then what? The market's going to like that, too, um, because we are going to see some more additional tax cuts and I think less regulation. And even though people, Wall Street backed Biden, I do think that the investor world and markets in general, the economy loved this president and it will love this president again. And, and that it. will be All helpful. All right, Brian, so what do you think of that? A full Republican run of the table. 
totally agree with Rebecca on this, and I think one of the key things there is we will get a stimul another stimulus bill. But, but if a total Republican uh, run of the table means shutdowns are off, uh, at least a, a massive shutdown is off the table. All right, guys, thank you very much for playing along. And kids, <laughs> you can you. at home do as well. Um, there's our FBN game that we're going to be uh, playing all day and all tonight on those very scenarios. Thank